So in this video, I wanted to just briefly talk about a couple tools that I've used for debugging some client-side HTML JavaScript type of problems. And so one of them is called the Webpack Bundle Analyzer. And if I scroll down here, you can kind of see it talks about the visual size of Webpack output files with an interactive zoomable tree map. So I have installed this in some projects before that were having performance problems and used it to help kind of investigate and do some debugging, trying to figure out, you know, why the application was having some performance issues. So you can see here in this screenshot how you can mouse over certain areas and click on things and drill down for more details. And it kind of groups everything together too so it's very helpful and as they mention here it shows you or helps you realize what's really inside your bundle find out what modules make up the most of its size and find modules that got there by mistake and then you can go about optimizing it so if you're having some application performance problems as a starting point you may want to go ahead and install this and, and run it on your project and there's a lot of options and different things you can do with it. So you should check the documentation here on GitHub. And another tool that I found here, if you scroll down, you can see the status scope. And this is another GitHub repository. And so here, as it says, status scope is a toolkit for analyzing with a UI base report and validate stats of your bundle. The key features are a full dependency tree, modules, chunks, assets, entry points, and packages, a size map, entry points, uh, chunks, and packages, package copies and duplicates, like duplicates of modules detected, stats validation with a bunch of rules, stats comparison, custom reports for your stats, and no stats size limitation and there's actually a sandbox which I'm going to show here in a second so you can see it actually working interactively I don't have it set up right at this moment in a project but in a future video I plan to have this installed on a project so I can interactively show it on my local system so there you go that's the status scope and here is the status scope sandbox so if you click on this use demo stats it will go ahead and load up basically this set of data here on statuscope.tech t-e-c-h that's the website and so you can see like the main entry point and if you expand that you can see chunks modules packages assets and across these tabs you can look at it from a module standpoint and it shows like largest at the top down to the smallest at the bottom. There's no duplicate modules in this. Then you can see your chunks. Again, sorted by largest to smallest. Your assets. So here you can see main is 428K. And then your packages. So if we go back and look here it shows initial size is 408.85 kilobyte and of course that matches the dashboard screen up here and you can see what the initial download time is 2.3 seconds if you're experiencing you know fairly long download times you can use this tool to determine or help you determine you know what's possibly going on and so i think it's a really great tool and here you can click on custom reports if you want to see the top 20 biggest modules you can click on that and it immediately generates this report so you can see here in this case it's the status scope web UI main.js that's the largest and so this it's a custom report and allows you to construct any view and pass any data to that view you can share the link to your reports with your colleagues and there is one other report if you wanted to do some charting it does have that capability too so I just wanted to point out these tools in case 
you may be having some performance issues with your applications. The Statoscope Webpack plugin also has its own GitHub repository. And so this Webpack plugin generates Statoscope HTML report from Webpack stats. And so this shows how you could install it into your project and then how to use it. There is some configuration options that you can set up. So you may want to take a look at these options depending on what you need to do while you're debugging your application. So hopefully these tools will be useful to you in one of your future projects. If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.